This is trap rolling. It's like a sick music genre you're dancing on the wall with. What we're doing here, I'm taking a little cross ball and I'm sticking it between the wall and my upper back here. You could use a tennis ball. The tennis ball is going to slide around a little bit more, but it will be a little bit softer. I like using a cross ball because it sticks, stays where I want it to go, and it digs in. So what we're doing, uh, we want to target the traps here. So to do that, uh, so you got your shoulder blade that sticks out the back here. And you got yours, the spine of your vertebrae, the vertebrae of your spine that stick out. Those points of the vertebrae, each sticking out all the way down your spine, from your neck, down your low back. So we're going to stay between the shoulder blade and the spine right there. And we're only going to stay to one side. So I'm going to focus on rolling my left side. And then when I'm done, then I'll switch and I'll roll to my right side. You don't want to repeatedly roll back and forth across your spine there. So we're just going to stick to the soft tissue. And we can go down as far low as sort of that mid back down in there. The traps get pretty low there. That's your low traps. And then you're going to come up into your mid traps. Again, still staying between the shoulder blade and the spine. And then you can come all the way up into your neck here. And then roll on this side of your neck out there. And then the upper trap it kind of fans out here. And you can actually stay a bit above what's called the acromion process of your scapula. This is called sort of like the upper ridge of your scapula. So you'll feel it protruding out there. You're going to stay above that. And that's all part of the upper trap there as well. So you can get all of this upper trap up here above the acromion process and the side of the neck there. And then, just, and then just stay in between the shoulder blade and the vertebrae of the spine coming all the way down along in there. Uh, so you might have to adjust the ball to hit those different points. We'll start, I like to start with the upper trap. You just kind of put it between the wall and your back there in that soft tissue. And you're going to bend your knees and shift your hips around and roll it around. If you find a tender spot, as always, sit on that tender spot, relax, let it dig in 30 seconds. Let it sink in there as best you can. Just try to relax and then you can roll away and come back to it. Or you can roll around and try to see if there's another spot you got to focus on. And it's going to be, you're going to have to then adjust the ball. So after I've kind of rolled out, I can kind of dig it in out here above the acromion process there, getting that upper trap and then get up in the neck here. And when I'm done with that section, I'm just going to then reach back, take the ball, grab it. I'm going to then put it behind my back, right between the shoulder blade and the vertebrae of my spine. And I'm going to pop it right there. And then I'm just going to go bend my knees up and down, rolling, getting that soft tissue between there. And if you got the leg strength and you want to, you can sink way down in that squat and get way out of your shot here. <laughs> or then uh, if you want to get to the low traps, then again, I'm going to reach back one hand, catch the ball, and then I'm going to simply just position a little bit lower. And then I'm going to lean into that and go up and down along there. Again, if you find any tender spots, sit and hold them for 30 seconds. Let that ball dig in there and stay on soft tissue. Once you do one side, you can then switch and then get the other side and the trap on the other side of your spine. Again, staying around that shoulder blade and just off the vertebrae of your spine. That there is trap foam rolling or ball rolling.